Alright, 10 seconds. We know we've got Village DLC and we know we've got Resident Evil 4 Remake. What else have you got for us, Capcom? Let's go. Did you get in here? I do. Oh, please don't fret. I have no intention of making a meal of you. Please call me the Duke. I am but a humble merchant. Buyer of goods to lords and ladies, prophets, and priestesses. I do so strive to please my patrons. I hope we can become well acquainted. But of course it is not I who is on display here, but rather the wares on offer for you. I deal in all manner of commerce, but today I trade in knowledge. This place is a veritable hoard of information, gathered from all throughout the realms of man. The more hard won the knowledge, the higher the price. But you look like you're well aware of the value of such things. Well, since we're here, I've got a few morsels I'd love to share with such a connoisseur. Please, take a gander. Alright, so we're starting off with the Shadows DLC, I'm guessing. World Premiere, okay. Yeah, here we go. Happy half birthday, Rose. I just want to find my daughter. Oh, fuck. I'll always be there for you, no matter what. Well, that's the third, third person aspect that's really good. You are my precious Rose. And I didn't care. So long as we were together. Oh, Leah. I'm so sorry. I love you. percent be playing through that. I'm Kento Kinoshita, the director of the Winter's Expansion. Hello. Ethan gave his life to protect Rose. And in the end, you see how she's grown. What kind of person is 16-year-old Rose? That's what we wanted to explore, so we decided to have her at that age in this expansion. You said you had something important to tell me? She's trying to get rid of her unwanted powers, but to do that, she is forced to return to the origin of her misfortune. 
We thought that concept had a lot of potential for an interesting story. So the setting this time is the realm of consciousness, going back one more time to that village. Okay. The word nightmare is synonymous with fear. For instance, if you've ever had a childhood fever that caused a nightmare, even if they only last for an instant, like the feeling of being attacked by a giant doll or something else similarly so completely unrealistic, can remain as a fragment of a memory for the rest of your life. I wanted the core of the feeling of fear to come from the kind of memories and nightmares that still haunt people to this day. All right, cool. Very Alice in Wonderland. We wanted to that choose characters thing. that would interest people who didn't play the mercenaries mode, but would be interested in playing a different type of character. There are characters called lords, and playing as them allows you to perform amazing skills and attacks that a regular human could not. Being able to play them was more fun, so that's why we chose those characters. Nice. We balance things to ensure that as little time as possible is spent waiting for enemies to appear. For instance, if a player doesn't finish off an enemy, it will chase after the player. We made adjustments cool. like this to raise the tempo and increase the fun of defeating enemy after enemy. Alright, that should make it a bit more fun then. In an FPS, you experience the game world as if it's through your own eyes. So it can be incredibly scary to play a horror game from that perspective. This is true. There are some players out there who might find it too scary or experience motion sickness in the first person perspective. They might not enjoy the FPS genre. So we wanted to make a third person mode for those players to enjoy the game to its fullest. Oh, that's good. That's a good While idea. Well, there's still a sense of immersion and fear with a third-person perspective. When the player character dies, it doesn't feel as much like you yourself are dying. And you can enjoy playing it as a game to confront the fear that it creates, which is a very different experience. I think third-person mode is a perfect way for people to return to Resident Evil Village as both a game and an experience. Wouldn't it be okay to show Ethan's face? We gave that question some thought. So even in third-person mode, if you try to turn the camera to see his face, Ethan will look away, and you're not quite able to get a good look. Yeah, sticking with the meme to the very end. <laughs> Each of the three editions are interesting in their own way, and we hope you really enjoy the expansion. Please look forward to it. Thank you. I am looking forward to it. I really liked Village, so yeah, I'm definitely looking forward to that. Uh, come on, Resident Evil 4, I need to see more of that, Now please. we have an amazing announcement for you. Okay. Starting today, a demo for the third-person mode will be available. Here is the release date and platforms for the demo. Nice. This demo can be played for a total of 60 minutes in third-person mode, or the previously existing first-person mode. Premiere. Mission adjustment? No, doesn't change anything. In a while since we fought together, Captain. Doing nothing but recon's gotten me out of shape. Let's have some fun, people. What's this? Move out. Yes, sir. Okay. Oh, here we go. Reverse. New maps. Was that RE6, Leon, I just saw? Alright, cool. Resident Evil Reverse is free content for those who own Resident Evil Village or Resident Evil Village Gold Edition. This game has cross-play, and you can fight players across all platforms. Those who already own Resident Evil Village will be able to participate in the early access period starting October 24th. Additionally, updates are planned for Resident Evil R Reverse after it has been officially released. Here are some details for the early access and updates. Oh, that's cool. I'll give that another try. 
Resident Evil Village will be playable on even more platforms. Hello, everyone. My name is Jeremy Sandmel, and I'm part of the GPU software team at Apple. Uh, this, yeah, During this the keynote the Mac at our Worldwide Developers Conference, Capcom announced Resident Evil Village will be coming to the Mac later this year and will take full advantage of the power and performance of Apple Silicon. We couldn't be more excited that the game will be available to Mac users around the world beginning Friday, October 28th. Resident Evil Village is the first project based on Capcom's RE engine to support the Mac and runs natively on Apple Silicon. And since the game is optimized to take advantage of Metal 3 features like Metal Effects upscaling, gameplay is incredibly responsive, with high frame rates and beautiful visuals. This means that every Mac, from MacBook Air to Mac Studio, will be able to play Resident Evil Village with ease. Stay tuned for more information soon. Excellent. Hello everyone, I am Midoro from Ubitus. And I am Yonatani from Ubitus. It is a great honor to be taking part in this global project of the Resident Evil franchise on cloud with Capcom. With the launch of the cloud version, not only fans from Japan, but from all over the world can play the game on Nintendo Switch without thinking about the download time. The application size is small but the users can experience smooth gameplay of up to 60 FPS while playing it in multiple modes that Nintendo Switch offers, such as TV mode, tabletop mode, and handheld mode. It is great to be able to focus on the gameplay without thinking about storage space or the download time. You can also check your network environment by playing the demo before you pre-order or purchase the game. The game can be pre-ordered or purchased after you play the demo. This is to make sure that those who are playing a cloud game for the first time, or may have concerns, can test it and enjoy the game. Boom. With 5G mobile network technology being so widespread recently, the barrier between installing the game and playing it on cloud is getting smaller and smaller. We hope you will enjoy it and marvel at the technology of cloud gaming, as well as its future, through the release of Resident Evil Village Cloud. Resident Evil Village Cloud will be available on October 28th, and the Winter's Expansion DLC will follow on December 2nd. Furthermore, RE2 Cloud will launch on November 11th, followed by the RE3 Cloud on November 18th, and RE7 Cloud will be available on December 16th. Well, hopefully they can get the cloud thing functioning right. <laughs> How delightful. Such delectable information ought to be savored. <laughs> What's that? You want more? Yes, please. <laughs> what a greedy thing you are. Yeah, th no, that poster. it's quite all right. I love to see a healthy appetite. Resident Evil 4, I'll do give my it to me. To I need heart. it. <laughs> Come, have a look at this. Yes, please. Hello everyone. Hello. I'm the producer of Resident Evil 4, Yoshiaki Hirabayashi. I'm here today to deliver the newest information about the title. First, please enjoy this new gameplay footage. Here we go. Pretty far. Are we gonna go into the house this time? Yes, come on. Anyone home? God, look at it. It looks so damn good. Oh, cutting. Oh, 
have they just mo moved it? Hey. Well, that's one of the cops. I read you. What's your situation? Okay, that's different. What was that? Oh, look at that. Him. Oh, we can crap, we can crouch. Stealth mode activate. Hey, Hunnigan. Bruce, this is Gondor One. Hunnigan here. What's your sit rep? The president's daughter, Baby Eagle. It's likely she's in this village. Our intel was correct then. Well done. Something's happened to the people here. My escorts are. Oh, shit. Gotta go. Talk later. <laughs> yes! Well, they say on fire. aspect of RE4 down. Hi, Dr. Salvador! Shotgun! Neon shotgun! There we go. Durability on the knife. Okay. Oh, not good. No. <laughs> what did you think? Loved it. As you just saw, we are paying respect to the original game's world you really while implementing are. new ideas and state-of-the-art graphics to strengthen the core concepts of the title. Definitely, they're keeping the we action, think but this game will provide horror. a fresh experience with a sense of familiarity if you play the original that both newcomers and veterans to Resident Evil 4 will enjoy. No fucking way. The Ganados will have all new ways to attack. They are closing in on Leon during his mission and will attack with an even greater variety of methods than in the original release. Leon fights back with firearms, close combat maneuvers, a <laughs> newly added parry using his knife, and more. Nice. Alright, that's great. I'm loving this. Resource management and upgrade elements are critical for survival. 
just as in the original, using the attaché case effectively will be key. In addition to managing the weapons and items you carry and synthesizing herbs, this also allows you to craft ammunition and other items. Oh, nice, we can craft ammo. Over here, stranger. Of course, we can't forget the merchant. Something new for you. You can purchase weapons <laughs> yes. and items and customize them to suit your playstyle. We've also added a trade mechanic where rare gems you've collected can be exchanged for special items. <laughs> you can't go wrong with that. <laughs> yes. We are rebuilding the original game while respecting its core experience, adding new ideas and modernizing the play field. Now I'd like to share some new information regarding this product's release. Right. We announced that Resident Evil 4 will also be available on PlayStation 4, in addition to PlayStation 5, Xbox Series X and Xbox Series S, and PC. The PlayStation 4 version can be upgraded to the PlayStation 5 digital version at no additional cost. Good stuff. I'd like to introduce two other editions we are preparing for players looking for more than the standard edition. Okay. The first is the Deluxe Edition, nice. which will be available for all platforms. This includes additional content such as costumes, special weapons, a treasure map, and more. Next is go. the Physical Only Collector's Edition. This edition <laughs> includes the contents of the Deluxe Edition as well as a Leon figure, a special map, art book, soundtrack, and more. Also, pre-orders start today. Yes! If you pre-order the Standard Edition, you'll receive the Attaché Case Gold and Special Charm Handgun Ammo. If you pre-order the Deluxe Edition or Collector's Edition, you'll receive the Standard Edition pre-order bonuses as well as Attaché Case Classic and Special Charm Green Herb. If you pre-order the digital version on the PlayStation Store, you'll receive a mini soundtrack. You can secure these bonuses by pre-ordering Resident Evil 4. Thank you for watching so far. We are working hard to create a game that everyone will enjoy. Definitely looks like So please, look forward to it. Oh, I am. Before I go, we have one more update for you. Let's take a look. World premiere. Just the VR version. No, what's this? You're here looking for someone? Oh, hey, Louis. Luis. Maybe some missing senorita? There he is. Ashley, where are you? All right, now, where's Ada? Show us Ada. Your soul requires cleansing. Ashley Graham, are you in here? <laughs> Let me go. Listen. Ah! You're in the president's orders and... What is that? What do we do? The last lamps are escaping. We need to go. Oh! I'm gonna get you home safe. You can stop right there. Ada. Who there she is. You? What are you doing here? My thing is I will show her the bag. Actually, run! Holy fuck! The entire world shall overflow <laughs> with his grave. There's a little Nobody shit! <laughs> now, abandon your body. Leave the girl. She's lost no matter what. Now that he has chosen death. Are oh, you gonna be kidding me? Oh shit!
Yes, take my money. Have it all. <laughs> Did you enjoy the Resident Evil Showcase? Yes! Let's recap. First, Resident Evil Village Gold Edition launches on Friday, October 28th. If you already own Resident Evil Village, you could purchase the Winter's Expansion DLC separately. The Winter's Expansion includes three additional modes. The third person mode, so you can enjoy the main game in a new perspective. The powered up, the mercenaries additional orders, and the I'm, new story campaign, Shadows of Rose. I'm blown away by RE4. Oh, yes. A demo for the third-person mode will be available today. Don't forget, the early access period for Resident Evil RE Verse begins October 24th for all owners of Village. Resident Evil Village Cloud, playable on Nintendo Switch via a cloud service, will be available starting October 28th. Resident Evil 2, Resident Evil 3, and Resident Evil 7 are also coming to Nintendo Switch via cloud at a later date. Also, the Mac version of Resident Evil Village will be released on October 28th. The newest entry in the series, Resident Evil 4, will release on Friday, March 24th, 2023. And you can pre-order it today. We hope you look forward to it. Oh, I am. Thank you very much for watching. Well, well, looks like you've had your fill. No, With I want such more. a grand display, <laughs> I should hope so. Oh, I'm afraid I have an appointment I must attend to. Just a bit of bartering with another merchant. An odd chap, but his information's good. And I shouldn't say any more. Anyway, I do hope I'll see you again. I'll strive to prepare a suitably satisfying stock of goods. Well, thank you, Duke. You've been very accommodating, sir. So is it not an hour long then? Is that it? Yeah, that was it. Holy shit, okay. <laughs> Resident Evil 4 Remake looks amazing. It looks like they've kept all the more action elements of RE4, but they've brought the horror up to match, which is my biggest complaint about 4, apart from the awful controls, is that it, it sacrificed too much of the horror for uh, the action. This looks like it's going to be a really good balance. I mean, we saw uh, El Gigante, Del Lago, fucking, uh, oh, what's God, what's his, his name? The Chief, Chief Mendez. Holy shit. And Ashley's possession and like, holding a gun, I assume she's holding it at Leon, so they're obviously going to be uh, laying into that possession of the Las Plagas quite heavily in this remake. This could be the game that finally knocks Resident Evil 2, the original, off the top spot for the greatest Resident Evil game of all time. Potentially. We will see when we do the playthrough. I'm a little confused. There's been no confirmation regarding the VR content that we saw in the PlayStation Showcase a while ago. That's been missing from all the other trailers that have been up on like the Resident Evil channel and other channels. So I wonder what's going on there. But anyway, that's enough out of me. I'm hyped. Cannot wait. Direct, directly into my veins, please. <laughs> anyway, I'm out. Catch you next time.